Hi there, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Consider subscribing if today is your first time and don't forget to turn on post notification so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you a free tool that you can easily use to check plagiarism. According to os.ac.uk, this website, plagiarism is representing someone else's work or ideas as your own. It's all without their consent by incorporating it into your work without full acknowledgement. So basically, if you pick a content from any source at all without acknowledging the person and then you use that content within your own article, that makes you actually plagiarize that content. So I'm going to show you a tool that you can easily use to do the analysis and then you can get yourself out of that because it's an offense. So go to this site, go to this site called plagiarismchecker.co. So this site will offer you a free tool to be able to check whether your content is unique or it has been plagiarized. So with free, you have a limit of 800 ways. Okay, you can use free limit of 800 ways. You can check that. You can easily upload a complete file and then check for the plagiarism of that content. It's having a positive review and it's having also grammar checker, the paraphrasing tool. I have another video which I'll be uploading soon on another tool that will be you can easily use to paraphrase contents so let's check this and see how best this is going to work for us i'm going to just get a content from my word document remember you have only up to 800 words so make sure you don't copy too much so let probably have copy up to this side and i'll just go and paste that and then make sure you confirm that you are not a robot by clicking on this checkbox so i'm supposed to select traffic to confirm that so i'll just select the traffic and then click on verify when you click on verify you can now click on check plagiarism so we click on that check plagiarism this website will analyze the content that we have and extract the unique content and also extract the plagiarized content the percentage of plagiarized content we have within this text is going to tell us and the unit content as well so it's going to analyze everything line by line you can see these first two lines are unique the tech The first two lines are unique the second has been plagiarized so you can see how this is going to analyze the entire content for you and you see the percentage of unique content against percentage of plagiarized content so you can easily scroll through and be able to identify your unique content as against the, the plagiarized content so this is a free tool that you can easily use you can use this anytime at all you want for your blog posts for your short essays and articles that you write you can easily use this tool to do your checking for any content that doesn't belong to you so they can easily acknowledge the right person or the right source so 15 percent of this content actually has been plagiarized and then 85 percent is what's unique so if you scroll through you can see we have another plagiarized content over here so we have this line has been plagiarized and then we have another one here so you can easily do the content analysis and see how where the other sources that's where you plagiarize your content are coming from so you can just go to match sources and see where those two content that are plagiarized where you can trace the source so you can see where we have those sources so you can easily when you want to use this content you can easily acknowledge the rightful owner of this particular content so this is how you can go about it. you can download this report you can see you can download this report direct onto your pc i'll be doing another video on how to use the paraphrasing tool which I'll, will be my next video so remember to like subscribe and turn on post notification so you don't miss any of my upcoming video you have up to about 800 if you want to do more then you may want to upgrade to a premium version which i'm not talking about in this tutorial i just want to rely on the free version and i know as a beginner this should be enough for you thank you for watching this short tutorial so like come away again bye bye